Game Ranks presents 10 things that Dark Souls 3 players hate. Now look, we're big fans of Dark Souls 3, but we have a variety of different issues with the game as fans. You know, be it annoying things in the game or actual fundamental flaws with the game itself. So let's get into it starting off with number 10. The whole Firelink Shrine thing is a little annoying. The whole cycle of going and finding a bonfire, clicking on it, fast traveling back to the Firelink Shrine, suffering through that long ass load time, then walking up to where you have to level up and then doing that. That cycle just seems a little painful and kind of annoying, as opposed to leveling up at a bonfire like in the original Dark Souls. Dark Souls Souls 3 continues the trend of Dark Souls 2 and Demon Souls giving you a hub area that you need to travel to. And while it is nice to have somewhat of a safe zone, it's also kind of annoying and takes a lot of extra time out of time you could be playing the actual game progressing. And at number 9, speaking of bonfires, you know, a lot of players feel like there are too many bonfires in Dark Souls 3. Think about how many bonfires there are just in the earlier moments of the game. You start out, one minute later, there's a bonfire. Three minutes after that, there's a boss, and then after you beat that boss, there's another bonfire. Then even a little later on, when you're sent to the undead village, you get a bonfire immediately when you land, and then you walk down and walk past the gate, and you get another bonfire. Why are there so many bonfires? It's a weird thing to complain about, because, you know, technically it makes the game a little bit easier, since there's a few more places to relax, but ultimately, this is a Dark Souls game. We want finding that next bonfire to be an arduous and difficult journey, so give us less. And at number eight, something that some players really hate that I've seen is just the whole idea of invasions. Now, ultimately, I do think this is newer players, players that are kind of new to the series that hopped on with Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3, but people just seem to not take kindly to invasions on different forums. If you see, it seems like people are even going as far as calling them griefers. And look, we all have our troubles with PvP and Dark Souls from how it's set up to how it just happens at the worst time and it's difficult and annoying and a player plays like an asshole. But at the end of the day, that's what makes Dark Souls Dark Souls, and that's a fundamental core of it, the PvP stuff. It's good. Good. We love it. I just think it's worth pointing out though that on Twitter and Facebook and some Dark Souls forums it seems like some players just are not into it. And at number 7, that camera can really fuck you over during a boss fight, huh? You can be completely locked onto a boss until they do one of their certain special attacks that completely unlocks your target and camera lock, and then you completely lose sight of the enemy and usually get your ass handed to you. Not to mention if it happens when you're boxed up in a corner and the camera suddenly decides to get held up on something. It's just never a good time and never amounts to helping you in a boss fight that is usually difficult enough for its own reasons, let alone fighting the camera. And at number 6, Dark Souls 3 is missing some things from the other games, but the most significant one is the lack of power stance. Traditional power stance is gone. Now look, a lot of us aren't the biggest fans of Dark Souls 2, but at least it did the power stance stuff right. For those of you that don't know, power stance is the ability to use both equipped weapons at the same time. It's activated when the player tries to two-hand his left-handed weapon. New moves and combinations are then possible. In order to actually get it, you have to have one and a half times the required amount of strength and dexterity listed on the weapons. If you meet those requirements and the weapons are compatible with one another and you, you get the power stance and you're an absolute badass and it's almost a completely different playstyle and build. Dark Souls 3 doesn't quite have that. While it does have some improvements on using two weapons, traditional power stance is not in and that's unfortunate. And at number five, let's talk about those fucking jailers. You know, that spooky enemy type with the brand and the lantern that are usually in the Aerithyll dungeon? These guys are a pain in the ass. Not only are they difficult to kill, like a lot of Dark Souls enemies, the fact that they can completely permanently drain your maximum HP for a temporary amount of time just is, is awful. It's awful to deal with. Once they raise that lantern and it turns red, your max HP will start to drop and it won't recover for at least 20 seconds. So you can be fundamentally fucked in one of these fights if you're not quick enough. These guys are rough and really annoying annoying and frustrating. I know all enemies in the game are tough and frustrating, but goddammit, that max HP drain is unforgivable. And at number four, let's talk about the area that is hated the most, it seems. Farron Keep Swamp in general is just a nightmare. A lot of it is because of the enemies, you know, those jumpy goat killer things, the Gru and the Elder Gru. The Gru in general, all different types are just awful and difficult and frustrating enemies, especially the one type that doesn't have any weapons and decides to just kind of jump on your face and just rip it off and or have sex with it. It's just awful. It's not a good time. They do it repeatedly and they can kill you in an instant. All the Gru enemies are really awful. But not only that, Farron Keep Swamp is a nightmare because a lot of it looks the same and it's very easy to get lost. And when you're running away from powerful enemies and you're lost, it is just not a good time. Here is a pro tip though. Look up, follow the smoke. It's a little easier, but goddamn is that area rough. 
And at number three, let's talk about the game's PvP stuff. Most notably, the game kind of needs an online active zone highlight on the map like Dark Souls 2. Not only that, but something worth noting is that if you're in the middle of attacking an enemy while being summoned, that enemy will have full health when you return, but any magic or consumables or anything you use to attack them will still be missing from your inventory. So they get a fresh respawn and you don't, and that sucks. But the thing that really bothers us the most is just those people who don't duel right. If you don't do PvP right, figure it out or get out. You know, if you're loading into a fight club or something like that, try and follow the general rules of a fight club. No Estus, bow, be respectful, play the game right. A lot of assholes won't do that though. They'll save one Estus to bust down at the end and screw you over. Or you'll show up somewhere where you think you're gonna be in a cool fight, only to be sneak attacked by someone with a bow and arrow behind you. Also, not to mention, I've seen this a lot, but blue phantoms kind of have a tendency to sit and do nothing when summoned in. If you're in that covenant and you summon in and then I draw all the aggro from the enemies and kill everything and do all the work while you just sit on your ass, Ah, don't, don't do that, stop. And at number two, we really hate the hackers and cheaters out there because this game is based around community and some people really try and ruin it. There are hackers and cheaters out there for the PC version that want to come into your game and break your save file or get you banned. You might be playing with a cheater and you don't even know and then you'll play with them or maybe you'll pick up a weapon that they drop that has been modded and then that automatically makes you a cheater and you can risk being banned and seriously permanently banned. The fact that you can't filter playing with cheaters and you have no idea what to expect or what you're getting yourself into totally blows. Blows. And at number one, the thing that it seems Dark Souls 3 players really hate the most is Bandai Namco's lack of really handling the situation regarding cheaters, hackers, and permanent bans. Since on PC, the massive amount of people that have been banned just for vaguely even accidentally associating with cheaters, all Bandai Namco has really done is go after the people that are potential victims of hackers. They have only reiterated that interacting with somebody that was cheating or anyone who altered game data has the potential to be penalized or banned. Yes, that is a real thing, but players have no way of knowing who they're dealing with in their games. All they've really said is that if you get flagged, your backed up data should clear your account of any flags. In terms of dealing with hackers and cheaters, they've actually used the phrase taking candy from strangers. So instead of actually finding out and fixing the problems and really just shaping up how they take care of cheaters and hackers, they really just focus on the people that are victims and say, hey, be more careful. That's not good enough, guys. Fix your shit. Plenty of other games that have PC versions don't have this problem. So if you are playing on PC, be on the lookout for a red phantom invasion troll. Don't be tricked into picking up an item that could potentially get you banned or flagged. So guys, those are 10 things that fans definitely hate about Dark Souls 3. The game is great, but it has its problems and its issues and its annoyances. And we know you guys probably have some grievances as well. So let us know in the comments any problems you have with Dark Souls 3. We'll be down in the comments looking to hear from you guys because honestly, I can talk Dark Souls all day. You guys know the deal though. If you enjoyed this video, clicking the like button really helps us out. And if this is your first time here, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.